Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today I come up with some kind of a coffee shots on CCSP exam. Uh, these questions can definitely help you to understand this cloud concepts and I'm sure these questions also uh, give you the perspective how to think like a cloud security manager in CCSP exam. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So let's start with the first coffee shot. You are working for Aspirants Technologies. The company is planning to host some applications on a third party. Cloud services. It means we are planning to host the services on third party. Aspirants are concerned about data processing, data security, and breach notification because of the required regulation of the EU. What do you recommend most? most has no alternate okay most to drive the following governance again the scope of the question is governance requirement with the cloud provider let me give you the overview about this question what they're talking about it means there's a company who planning to migrate their operations to third party and they're concerned about eu breach they're concerned about eu regulation they're concerned about data security and all that and their primary concern was more from a governance point of view because Till the time the things are on prem can be controlled end to end and when it basically move to third party from on prem to the cloud you know you have a limited visibility so they are saying what do you recommend option a breach notification is a responsibility of a customer definitely even the governance risk and compliance even it is on prem or moving to the cloud it is still is a customer responsibility but without documenting that we cannot take that assumption that's why i'm not going with this option because question talking about what do you recommend tomorrow if i basically go with this kind of a solution that it is our responsibility then management will not be happy Second, it's saying the category of a data and security incidents should be prioritized. Category of data and security incidents should be prioritized with the expected timeline for notification depending upon the incident type and required by the customer. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me park this option because definitely uh, all the incidents cannot be respond on the same time. Third, Customer should contractually require database notification from the provider in a unambiguous language. And the option E, let me park this option also because contract is a third party governance here because this is the customer and this is the provider. What they will be agreed, it will be as per the contract only. So I am I'm still convinced with the C. Let me see the D option also. The D saying that uh the uh, should the provider contractually require data breach notification from the regulator no provider is never having a responsibility let me give an example here suppose i am a data subject okay i went to bank and bank is basically hosting a services on a cloud service provider so if something happen here he report to bank and bank is the one who primary accountable to data subject here they're saying that provider contractually required data breach notification from regulator definitely no because bank is the one who answerable to regulator so definitely i'm not going with the d so the close one is look like a c c for charlie because anything you want that need to be addressed through a contract that's why the answer is c let's go with the next coffee shot so the compliance function in a aspirants technology okay wanted all traffic to and from a company cloud based word processing it means they're using some SaaS based solution and email system to be logged it means they just want all the traffic which is going from a on prem to the cloud need to be intercept so to fit this requirement cloud security professional has suggested to implement next generation firewall it means some kind of a firewall will be there which can able to monitor but problem is that with the ngf it can able to monitor the content okay and they also decided to use a cloud-based log management it means the log management solution which is 
created and stored in the lock uh, in the cloud server so which of the following is the highest risk but what is the scope of the question highest risk for what because we have a multiple risk we have a multiple risk right because if you're going with the multiple risk here like as i said we have a customer here he going to use saas based solution okay and you also decided to have a log on the cloud okay so two things are there what kind of information stored there and if you install the ngf here next generation firewall all traffic is basically going through that it will be decoded so question is specifically talking about the highest risk to the user privacy in this scenario which scenario if you implement the ngf option a unencrypted username and password i i repeat they saying unencrypted username and password for personal website may be seen in the stored logs that makes sense that logs is going to store the username and password but problem is that we mostly people install the proxy brokers and all that so any kind of information goes it get basically decrypted and read and then it encrypted again and then when it goes to the backend it store in the encrypted value but still it is a concern increase in latency definitely increase in the latency but the question is more from a privacy point of view privacy is more from a disclosure firewall will examine the documents ha huh. question saying that firewall will examine the documents and data that are classified as a confidential now classified as a confidential can be anything it can be the pii data it can be phi data and they're saying that before they logged in definitely when you have a ngf here and we have a proxy broker okay so when the traffic is basically goes from here proxy broker will try to decode and then it will be inspected by the ngf so whatever there in the content it can be inspected by the ngf so in that case there is a visibility of the traffic what kind of a data you are sending that is why it can be the concern because when the traffic is basically goes by the ngf ngf need to inspect the content and for that he need to decode first so he will decrypt here he read and then encrypt again and send to the server so there is a possibility when he decode and read from a security point of view from a privacy point of view it get breached because we can able to see the complete content and last is called as a tampering of a data during a transit firewall does not having a capability to you know alter the data because it is just read the functions and based on that they will try to block so question was specifically from privacy it's more like a disclosure and it's referring a ngf function that is why i am going with the answer c if c is not there i will definitely go with the a but right now the most suitable option is c let's go with the next coffee shot so when choosing a technological solution for identity management okay so identity management like office 365 and all that architect opt for a third party saas provider example like we don't have a in house capability so we decided to use a office 365 google okay because they're just saying in house solution over in house solution so this is a example of which of the following risk treatment strategy so we have a four type of treatment whether we accept the risk whether we transfer the risk whether we avoid the risk or whether we mitigate the risk in this case we are the customer okay we don't have a in house skill so we decided to use a cloud based solution now in the cloud based solution what happen is the operation cost maintenance of security data backup everything has been transferred to the cloud provider so tomorrow even if we any kind of a security breach happen on the on the ids which they have okay it is their responsibility and they basically uh, giving answerable to the customer definitely see you just transferring the risk in that case you still own the risk okay so you just transferring the responsibility of the impact to the cloud provider because tomorrow if the cloud provider is down he will pay the penalty cost to the customer let me let me explain you in a very layman term so we have a customer here which is called as a bank bank has decided to use office 365 who developed that by microsoft who manages the storage by the microsoft who manages the uh back end of the office refi by microsoft only so he just provided me one application so i have a team in the bank who access the console create a user so tomorrow if office 365 down it is a microsoft accountability 
but if any security breach happen they are accountable to the bank but bank is the ultimate responsible and accountable to the regulatory authority so in this case i am working as an architect in the bank and i decided to move the services or use the software as a services which is a microsoft one so it is not a mitigation but it is more like a transfer i transfer the risk to office 35 so they will manage and if anything goes down they can basically pay me and i can pay to the regulatory authority so because risk transfer in which we just transferring the risk we cannot transfer the accountability we just transferring the responsibility same like you taking insurance but it doesn't mean you will have a three bottles of drink every day you have just transfer the financial risk okay so here we have a four options transfer of operation which look very close it is not a avoidance because they have avoiding mean they avoiding a simple risk they avoiding a solution itself but here they went for the solution okay so avoidance definitely not an answer acceptance is not an answer because they decided a control here and mitigation is not about reducing impact instead of having a in house they went with the cloud that is a perfect example of the transfer of operation that's why i'm going with the option a so next coffee shot so question is vulnerability in a aspirin technology cloud service was recently revealed allowing the malicious user to obtain the root access on other virtual machine running inside the same hardware cluster which of the following cloud based products customer should be most worried about this vulnerability it mean we have one hardware okay so if you take example we have one hardware and then on this we basically abstract into machines and that is basically provide to the customer so there is a possibility someone can basically attack the server from there they can able to access from one tenant to other tenant that is possible so please remember the answer is tpm is a most effective security we have tpm trusted platform security which provide the most effective security for such kind of an attacks against this kind of an attack so we have a four options here what kind of a most worried we have first is single tenant public cloud that look very closer second is multi tenant pass cloud see in a multi tenant pass cloud still is a concern but instant security is not my concern but here the question talking about obtaining a root access on the virtual machine so uh, customer does not have a visibility of the virtual machine so b is automatically removed because it is an accountability of the web provider option c multi tenant is cloud that is still is a concern and option d is single tenant is cloud now single tenant ias infrastructure services and single tenant public cloud because in a public cloud also they are providing you a dedicated server dedicated server mean in that server there is only one dedicated tenant so it is still secure because even it is compromised it is limited to one tenant so a removed same like you know provider is basically providing you dedicated is services on a dedicated server if something happened to that that is also secure but the concern is when your tenant is going to be share with the uh, your you you going to share your hardware with the other tenant also so if one tenant is compromise he try to exploit the other tenant so so most important most concern we have is multi tenant is that's why i'm going with the answer c c for charlie okay so let's move to the next coffee shot thank you Oh wow it's a very good question ABC limited cloud service provider is concerned about the security risk due to velocity velocity of attack mean amplify the spread of attack example if system was infected with a virus it is spread across other system so that is called amplification this mean attack is basically in a progress and it it going to spread more and more systems so what can be the cloud service provider deploy the most effectively to mitigate the impact of an attack so option a containment mechanism which can be form of anything defense in depth and all that that is a one option second option is role based access control see role based access control is not effective example like we have a system a we have a system b we have a system c so if system a is infected with the virus might be he taken the current role based function and exploit more effectively like you know he he took over the admin privilege and he compromise on a much higher level and from there he moved to another system then he moved to because velocity is basically mean amplified 
सो रोल बेस्ड डेफिनेटली विल नॉट बी द आंसर सेकेंड इज मल्टी फैक्ट ऑथेंटिकेशन डेफिनेटली मल्टी फैक्ट ऑथेंटिकेशन इज कैन बी द आंसर विच इज एक्ट लाइक अ प्रिवेंटेटिव कंट्रोल बिकॉज वेन द अटैक इज बेसिकली स्प्रेड अक्रॉस अदर सिस्टम्स समटाइम इट आस्क फॉर द पासवर्ड बट इफ इट्स अ मेमोरी बेस्ड अटैक इट कैन नॉट बी अचीवेबल तो सी इज ऑल्सो रिमूवड देन डी इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लीज प्रिवलेज आई रिपीट अगेन इवन द करंट हैकर और एनी अटैकर ही एक्सप्लॉयड वन मशीन बेज द करंट यूजर प्रिवलेज From there, he try to move to other system. If he cannot able to perform end to an attack on that, he can do the lateral movement and move to other system. Okay, so principle of least privilege will be not effective. But somehow, if I use all three, which is a part of the continuum mechanism, like uh, this called uh, zero trust. So where we have a micro segmentation. So with the help of SDN and all that, we can create a micro segmentation. So if they do attack, it is limited to that only. So that is why the most effective. answer for me is option a containment mechanism which can be implemented in any form so this is all from my side team and if you find this video useful do subscribe to my youtube channel and share with your friends and do click on the bell icons to receive the new notification whenever i try to upload the videos i'm going to work, i'm working on the videos of interview questions and all that and i will try my best to bring more and more great videos for your exam preparations and your job preparation thank you so much team